Today we received a Samsung Galaxy A50 phone. According to the owner of the phone, it hung up and when the phone died, he tried to charge it, but it only showed the charging logo. This issue is common with Samsung Galaxy A50 phone. The main cause of this problem is the CPU failure. So we need to reball the CPU. Unplug the charger. Ok let's start disassembling the phone. Remove the middle housing. Disconnect the battery, charging, display flex cables, and antenna wires. Remove the screws on the motherboard. Then take out the motherboard. Remove the cameras. Attach the motherboard to the PCB holder. Remove the dust tape protection with tweezers. Heat the RAM with a hot air gun at 380 degrees Celsius and airflow 60. While heating, pry up the RAM with a pry knife. Take down the RAM carefully. Next, remove the glue on the side of the CPU with a pry knife. Heat the CPU with the hot air gun at 380 degrees Celsius and airflow 60. While heating, pry up the CPU with a pry knife. Take down the CPU carefully. Put some paste flux on the bonding pads. Put some low temperature solder paste. Clean the tin on the bonding pads with a soldering iron. Clean the bonding pads with PCB cleaner. Put some paste flux again. Clean the tin residual on the bonding pads with a solder wick.
clean with PCB cleaner. Detach the motherboard then attach the CPU to the PCB holder. Put some low temperature solder paste on the CPU. Remove the tin and glue residual on the CPU with a soldering iron. Clean with PCB cleaner. Continue to clean the CPU. Flip the CPU over with the tweezers. Put some paste flux. Clean the tin residual with a soldering iron. Clean with PCB cleaner. Make sure the surface of the CPU is clean, especially its holes so that the RAM fits properly. Clean with PCB cleaner again. Detach the CPU and attach the RAM to the PCB holder. Put some paste flux into the RAM. Use the same method to clean the tin and glue into the RAM. Detach the RAM into the PCB holder. Align the reballing stencils with the RAM. Apply some solder paste and scatter it.
fold it with tweezers and heat it till the balls form. Next, reball the CPU. Apply some solder paste evenly to the holes on the top of the CPU before reballing it. Clean the CPU with fiber clothes. Then heat it till the balls form. Align the reballing stencils with the CPU. Apply some solder paste and scatter it. Hold it with tweezers and heat it till the balls form. Attach the motherboard to the PCB holder. Align the CPU to the right position with tweezers. Solder the CPU with the hot air gun at 380 degrees Celsius and airflow 60. Touch the CPU gently with tweezers. Next, align the RAM to the right position with tweezers. Solder the RAM with the hot air gun at 380 degrees Celsius and airflow 60. Touch the RAM gently with tweezers. Detach the motherboard into the PCB holder. Assemble the motherboard to test. 
Connect the flex cables. Plug in the charger. The phone is now charging normally. Unplug the charger. So since the phone is working again we can attach its other parts and assemble it properly. Put the dust tape protection back on. Install the cameras. Assemble the motherboard and connect the flex cables. Screw the motherboard. Connect the battery flex cable and antenna wires. Assemble the middle housing. Plug in the charger again. Press the power button to turn on the phone. The phone boots normally. Unlock the password and test the functions. Samsung Galaxy A50, stuck with the charging logo and not turning on has been successfully repaired.